Hi everyone, welcome to Peggy Miller's Retirement Luncheon, 26 years with Broward Meals on Wheels. We're here at the lovely Sunrise Civic Center to say farewell to Peggy Miller, our beloved Executive Director. All the tears that have been weeping, someone said goodbye, but you All the best in whatever you do in the future. God bless you. And congratulations on your new ventures. I wish you all the best of luck. And I'm really going to miss you, honestly. Peggy, I can't tell you how much you're going to be missed. Your legacy here is amazing. And Senior Health Now is just going to be created by you, bloomed, and just... It's my personal mission to make sure it goes. So thank you so much for that. And everything that happens here today, I hope it warms your heart and fills you up and that you come by and say hello every once in a while. Take care. Bye. We will miss Peggy a great, great deal, but uh, this is the nicest thing that could ever happen to her and she deserves it. Um, and, and good luck to her. And. Uh, and I hope she new, has a great mate. I hope you have a fantastic journey coming up. You and Joe and your family. And I want you to enjoy everything you do. And just remember all the people's lives you've touched and helped throughout your career. May that bring you happiness for the years to come. Thanks, Peggy. I wish you only the very best in your future and only good things to happen to you and your family. I know that uh, Broward County is going to really miss your presence. You've made a big difference in the lives of thousands and thousands of Broward County residents. Good luck to you. staff and the agency that you could all join us today to say goodbye to Peggy as she starts to write this chapter in her life. The lives of elders are nourished by the caring hands and heart of a laudable leader who shines her light on humanity and envisions the future with hope. This is from the Area Wide Council on Aging, January 24, 2013. This is for you, Peggy. Peggy, you've left me with some really big shoes to fill, and you're a really hard act to follow. And I, I, I know that everybody in this room agrees with me that there's no replacing you, and I don't even pretend to try to do that. So I'm going to miss you personally, and I know the whole county will miss you professionally, and I wish you and Joe every happiness up in Massachusetts. 26 years. That's a lot of volunteering. That's a lot of hard work, and the people here in this room, and the words that you hear now, attest to how important it was, and how very much it was appreciated, and how very much we will all miss you. It's been a great relationship, as uh, you surely will be missed, as, as Mark said, very tough shoes to fill, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck in your future endeavors, and uh, please stay in touch. I'm going to miss you, Peggy. I wish you and Joe all the luck in the world. I'm going to cry, and there's no question about it. And but you know, personally and professionally, it's really been a pleasure and a privilege. Uh, I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss Peggy. Um, you know, and it seems so strange that you're retiring because you're still so young. So. What Meals on Wheels does for our community is beautiful, and 
you've done so much to help the organization and the community. I just wish you and Joe the, the best of luck. And like everybody else has said, please keep in touch with us. When you meet her a few minutes later, you think you've been her friend forever. You just didn't know her name yet. Because that's the way she is. She's so warm and inviting and open. And I personally um, know, just a short while I've known you, there's no way people know how much of yourself you've given. I understand what it is to give and to volunteer, and there's no way we can thank you, but thank you, <laughs> and all the best. You know, a lot of the people that you've helped throughout the years, unfortunately, they, they couldn't be here, but you know, I, I know you've made such a difference in their lives day in and day out, and uh, you know, words could never amount to you know, all, all the thanks that, that is, uh, we, we give to you. Not only as a board, but as volunteers and and uh, the staff as well. So thank you very much. And I have seen the hard work that she's done, the long hours that she's put in. This is all coming from the heart. She, this is not. It wasn't just a job for her. She did this because she wanted to. Right? And when starting visit the field out there with uh, the individuals out there, the supervisors and so forth, not one of them would say any ba a bad thing about Peggy. The, what they said, you're a hard-working person, and Peggy, we're going to miss you. Then Diane came up with the idea um, of a lighthouse, which I'm going to show you, and I'm going to tell you why it resonated with us, and, and why once we saw it, it was the perfect choice. And it, it's a reminder to people in, in their darkest moments on the seas that they are not alone and that they shouldn't be afraid that there's somebody out there watching for them and, and looking over for them and, and, and making sure that they can chart a proper course um, that keeps them safe and protected. And so when you think about the symbolism around a lighthouse and then you think about it's coming back. Um, the things, this is very unusual, the things that make Peggy so special, you'll see why a lighthouse was the perfect choice. So, I need Edith's eye doctor. With appreciation for your dedication and 26 years of service to Broward Meals on Wheels, disagreements um, we've had our positive moments um, but you can't do what we do without a board to support and, and move the agency forward and you absolutely cannot do it without staff and to Tracy and Bridget and Vicki and I'm gonna forget somebody so all of my staff um, I, it's just been an incredible journey um, some of you have been with me 15 to 20 years um, Stacy I knew you when you were born I think um, it's just incredible to be able to stand here and say, second half is coming, and it's just incredible to see all of you here. Um, the work we've done, the work that still needs to be done, um, everybody is in place. As soon as you're filling, the agency has the people in place it needs to have. This is your job, your journey. You make it what you need to make it, and just, just don't let it go down. <laughs> we have a really, really good opportunity to, to put us um, in, a, in a future that is uh, unstoppable and, and you'll be free. How do I say goodbye to what we had?
If we get to see tomorrow, I hope it's worth all the pain. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday.